In this video, I'm going to show you a blitz, a glitchy shift in the nickel normal, something that you can mess with um, as you'd like to in a way that we can blitz out of this look and really something that I really like for compression sets. Now, um, the reason that compression sets I think are so difficult to defend is because they cause a misalignment. I also think that part of the reason why is because they really mess with match principles um, as well as they provide uh, just challenges, honestly, for you because you're blitz it's hard to blitz it because your blitzers will literally run into the receivers, like the receivers almost get a chip, quote unquote, on the blitz. And so I'm going to show you kind of the problem and then I'm going to show you a solution to that. And I'm going to kind of show you this little shift out of nickel normal that might be helpful. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that. And it just keeps you updated on the new videos that we release. Our video, our goal here on the channel is to help people become better Madden players. So if you're looking to improve, uh, we try to drop content every single day that can help you improve at this game. The other thing that I wanted to say before we dive too deep into the video is the nickel normal defense I built completely from scratch this year. And um, well, I, you never build anything completely from scratch, but I, I it's kind of my baby this year. It's my, been my favorite defense all year because of the fact that um, just because of the fact that the coverage schemes from it are really good and also the fact that it provides what I would say is balance, uh, a balanced approach to your defense, um, which is a huge advantage this year. So uh, anyways, that being said, if you want to get my full nickel normal ebook, it is available in my Patreon membership. What do you get when you become a Patreon member? You get over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates that we've been putting into the membership for those ebooks throughout the course of the season, as well as any new ebooks and new updates to those ebooks that we will be releasing uh, while you're a member of the Patreon. So it's a great way to support the channel, but it's also a great way to get better. It's not just a nickel normal, you get a lot of stuff with it. So if you want to be a Patreon member, there's a link in the description below. So we're just going to come out in a basic uh, nickel normal Tampa 2 defense, and I want to show you something. So, uh, first things first is I want you to look at the alignment of the D line. So if you look at the alignment of the D line, you're going to notice that we have um, an alignment in which they're not the same off of both sides. It's not they're not even, right? They're not they're not the same on both sides, right? So that's kind of point A. Point B is another problem that we have within this front is if we pinch the D line, I want you to look at something. You're going to notice that this lineman is just a little bit outside of this lineman. And if I crash my line down, you're gonna notice a major difference. What you'll see in this line crash is a major distinction and something we need to talk about. So the big distinction here is that this guy is gonna crash down. Um, we want him to crash right there, but generally speaking, he's gonna crash down there, right? So we want him to crash where Vinoy is, because that's gonna be the outside shoulder of the tackle. As you can see, he's like that now, but that's a glitch. And what you're going to get is he's going to slip inside. And I'll show you if we just watch, if we just snap this ball. You see that he is basically glitched. Okay. So how can we, um, and, and the big problem that, that creates is we can't send heat off that edge. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I pinch my line and I, and I blitz my nickel corner, Typically, the, the pressure, the nickel corner, will get blocked. We actually did get it to come in, but as you see right there. So um, typically, the pressure from the nickel normal can't come in off of that edge if you crash your line down. And I'll show it again here. But if I were to blitz the nickel corner, see how, see how that guy's slanting so far inside? And what you should see here is it allows that double team and then the pass off. Okay? So that's the big, big, big challenge of this defense. Now, the other thing that we have a problem is, if I were to leave this wider and I were to blitz this guy inside, notice that uh, his blitz angle actually crosses the face of this guy, okay? And so what you'll see now, same thing. See how they cross each other? We get a little pressure, but not enough pressure, and it's not very effective. So those are two main key problems. The, line, the, the blitz angles they don't work really well together to accomplish the result that we're trying to accomplish. So what can we do? Well, if you mess with your line shifts, you're going to unlock different things because most of the time we just pinch the D line this year and that's how you roll. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually slide our D line to the, to the, um, uh, to the left or I'm sorry, not to the left, to the right. And 
what you're going to see is it going to it's going to bring this guy in, but it's going to leave this guy out. And then what this allows us to do when we crash our D line down is now look at his blitz angle. Now we can work with this, okay? And then we can send the nickel corner, and we're still going to be able to create this front. So you see how this looks right here, and the snap of the ball, you're going to see that we unlocked a little concept that I think is really, really powerful. We unlock a little shift here that is a kind of a glitchy pressure, and I'll show you instant replay. This guy right here is actually going to come completely free. Why is that? Well, because this guy is isolating a double team. He's going to take a double team. As you can see here, gets a double team here. And you get this little swap off, disengage, or whatever you want to call it. And we get double pressure off of the edge, as you can see. Okay? So what we want to do is kind of build around that. So how do we build around that? Well, this is where the base align comes in. If you take a look at the base alignment, you're going to notice that that moves these guys. Why would that be important? Well, when we slide our line to the right, now we get a little better alignment from both these tackles, okay? We can still, of course, sit right in the middle here and be able to shoot the run. Um, and then we're going to just simply crash our line down and we're going to blitz the nickel corner. So you see that right there. Why would you want to base align this? Well, like I said, it, it changes the DTs. It also means you're going to get a very clean blitz off of that nickel corner side just like you would out of like a pinch two type of defense, okay? And what you're gonna see here is at the snap of the ball, we get the double edge pressure coming in at the quarterback. To me, this is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Because now what we can do is kind of build this defense off of that pressure. And so again, I'll show it to you again. See there, you get kind of, if you don't get double edge pressure, you'll typically get an edge pressure. But it's kind of a glitchy, a kind of a glitchy little blitz. Now the other thing that I want to just quickly point out is if you pinch and you try to accomplish the same thing, it's not going to work. Um, the crash line down, that left side the end is too tight, and as you can see there, we do get the nickel corner, but we're not able to get the double uh, pressure. Okay, so that to me is a huge, huge deal. Now another thing that you could do if you wanted to try this. Um, you notice that these slants, the stock slants of the blitz, to me, they're not very advantageous. But what we could do is we could crash our line to um, the other direction. So we could crash our line to the right. You see how this is the angle that we would like, this little slant kind of stock where they kind of essentially flow off of one another. And then what you'll see here is, again, you're getting this, this pressure. Now, we didn't crash it down, and that's arguably why the pressure didn't come in. Okay? So... How do we kind of build off of this concept on this, this blitz? Well, what I like to do with this, and like I said, you want these guys kind of touching ideally. When you don't contain, I think the blitzes this year are way more consistent against play action than if you do contain. But what, look at how good of pressure you're getting off that left edge. So to me, the pressure that you're getting on the left edge really does significantly um, you know significantly help this okay and again if you wanted to leave it just like this and you just wanted to base a line because you just want to leave this guy in a, in a wide nine type of technique here and you want to leave this guy here that's fine um, but I just want to show you the pressure real quick what you'll see here is it's nowhere near I mean you don't even get anything okay so we want to try to kind of build off build the blitz off of itself and what this is going to allow us to do is it's gonna allow us to get double pressure by only sending five, which is a which is a huge advantage in this year's game. You're not just gonna get one free, but oftentimes you're gonna get two free. Okay. Now the other thing, real quick, that I wanted to say about about this formation is let's say that we wanted to do a, a kind of a, a slant type of slant type of D like this. Okay. I uh, just want to show this one more time. What you'll see here is you will get at least one guy free, but you don't always get that double. Why? Because again, we're using the double team logic of this DT to create the pressure, okay? And we're really honestly probably be in a better situation if we just didn't crash them any way whatsoever um, in, instead of, as opposed to crashing them to the outside. That DT double team is so key, and then you have the looping pressure, okay? 
So that is basically the concept from Nickel Norman. Now you could build off of this. Um, so you could send pressure now, if you wanted to, you could send pressure from this left side guy. Now notice that this angle is really advantageous to our defense. And so we're gonna stand kind of right here. And what you're gonna see here is the DN comes free again with this stunning angle or this blitzing angle that we're creating um, you know, within the, within, the, within the defense. So again, all we're doing here is instead of blitzing the nickel corner, we're blitzing the, the uh, linebacker that we shifted over. And you see here, you get this little pass off logic and you're able to get pressure. So the bottom line is you wanna use those blitzing angles. You wanna practice some of those things. And I think those things are really, really important when we're talking about sending pressure. Now, um, now what we can do, uh, what we can do in a situation where maybe they're blocking the tight end or they're blocking the running back, now we have a defense that if they wanna try to block their tight end, we can send this blitz at them and you see how smooth it is and how consistently it's gonna come in regardless of if they block a tight end as well as regardless of if they block a running back. So this gives a little bit more balance, I think, to your pressure, and it gives you the ability that, again, if they block their running back, um, they're not not—they're still not gonna be able to pick this up. You see, you're gonna get really fast pressure regardless. From a look that really, honestly, I mean, it doesn't look like, I mean, it, it, you can send pressure from this, but it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily like, you know, scream, hey, we're gonna, we're about to blitz you. You know what I mean? It, 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 it kind of has some balance and we can certainly play a lot of coverage out of this as well, but you see how good a pressure this sends at the quarterback. So very simple setup and very effective in my opinion. So if you want to try it out, again, that's the video. If you want to get my Patreon and learn everything, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for it. It's only uh, 10 bucks a month and it gets you access to everything. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to become a Patreon member and get all my eBooks all year, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just 10 bucks.